morning, Internet. I'm about two and a half hours north of Frederick County here in the beautiful Lancaster County. It still smells amazing here, too. And um, you can smell it, can't you? Rob, Rob, I gotta tell you a story, Rob. Okay. All right, you made hats, right? I still do. Okay, you got it. You, you got. You are responsible for these children. Let me share why. I was wearing a hat. You made a rainbow hat. I bought one from you. When I when we moved to in, to Indiana, um, I went into the to like the cafe where students hang, and there I saw this beautiful young lady, and I was wearing this hat, and that's that's how she said, "Hey, Scott, nice hat." Because of the hat are you made for me, you're responsible for these three kids. Well, then I at least deserve a hug. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys doing today? Well, it's a real privilege for me to be here. Someone just asked, hey, is this your first time here? And I had to say no. Um, I actually grew up here in this church. Join your hearts with me. Let's pray for Scott and his family too. And Lord, we thank you for Scott and Jen and family and that they're stepping out in faith. So it's really cool to be here at the church that I grew up in. And not only did I grow up in this church, but I went to school in this church, at the Christian school, for like all my days. So I've got gobs and gobs of memories here at, at Grace Church in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And my poor kids have had to pal around with me as I go down memory lane. Uh, but hey, Grace Fieldship, I want to tell you what's going on this Sunday. So this is a new chapter for us where we're going to be meeting on Sunday mornings from now on out. This is really kind of a pivotal turning point. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this Sunday, the 10th at 10 a.m., we're meeting for a worship service. Now, um, so bring your friends. This is a great opportunity to bring some new people. We're starting a brand new series on uh, the Lord's Prayer called Teach Us to Pray. And that's a great time to begin with us. Yeah. Our boxes at home are starting to pile high. Tonight we have our last inspection for this home, and then we're on the home stretch. Until we get in the new place, this is my home office for right now. And um, hey, I wanted to share with you a story from this last Friday. We had the opportunity to serve our teachers at Brunswick Elementary School. And uh, thank you for those who came on out. We had a fun time together. But uh, more than anything, we just want them to know that we're here and that we care. And Amanda Woosley is one of our team members, and she also is uh, one of the teachers at the school. And she she said that she kept hearing really great feedback all day from people just saying how thoughtful and kind it was uh, to come alongside them and just serve them in that way on their opening um, session for school. So thanks for those who served. Another opportunity we have coming up shortly is in about a month is Railroad Days in downtown Brunswick. And we want to set up a booth there and we have some creative ideas about how we can create a fun space for kids and also have an opportunity to tell the community that we care about them and that we're here and hopefully create some connections. But but I need your help because we've got to get our booth stocked for two full days on Saturday and Sunday um, of railroad days. And so we're going to have a sign up for that. Please sign up for your family and make sure you've got a Grace Fellowship t-shirt. Cool things are happening at Grace Fellowship. It was great to see all my friends this last weekend at Lidditz. Um, friends, I'd love for you to be a part of our prayer or our financial support. You can find links on right here on our website, and uh, it'll it'll help you sign up for the mailing list as well as opportunities to give. And we are we are kind of coming down to the last stretch, getting ready for our public launch. I met with a gentleman this morning about making some of our portable church equipment and getting that ready. So I'm so excited for what God has in the future. We're in the business of changing lives. We're in the business of bringing the gospel to individuals. And uh, we're starting to taste that little bit by little bit. And I'm so excited to be on this mission with everyone. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. We'll see you on Sunday morning at 10 a.m.